Greetings one and all. This time we're going to talk about a small thing, but a very important thing. Uh, introduced in 1191, there is an option to auto-save your run SQL scripts. So you're working away on your SQL script and um, the interface actually crashes for whatever reason. Uh, maybe there's some problem with Java, maybe you have a, a Windows update power failure, whatever it is, um, then in the past you might have lost work and there's nothing more frustrating than that. So now they have enabled an autosave feature to keep your machine up to date and uh, not lose so much work. So what am I talking about? Let's just get to a screen here. I'll minimize that down. So let's just say that you've got a run SQL script that you're working on at the moment, like this example that shows uh, all of users that are not um, uh, secured. So let's just connect that to a database. So we see it running. Okay, so if I can get some answers back, and uh, maybe you're just doing modifications to it, so it's just making a small change. Uh, if I was working on this in the past and uh, you know my PC up, uh, updated or my Java crashed, I'd have, I'd have lost my work. In this case, only a small amount. But there is an option now under Edit Preferences where you can set to auto save every x seconds by default it's 15 you'll notice this was not turned on by default i hope it will be in the future but in this case 15 seconds if you're saving it to a local pc so you're saving down um to a local connection or you're over a nice fast network connection you can really lower that figure down if it's a local pc you could have it as low as one if it's a local network connection then you know five seconds no one's going to notice it's a small amount of data if you're on the end of a slow vpn connection you might want to leave that at 15 or even higher and there's also the second option to save files uh, before running the tasks. So let's set both of those. That's set now for all SQL scripts going forward. It won't change until you uh, actually uh, change it back out again. If you upgrade, it'll remember those changes. So it's a one-time deal. Again, I hope it's uh, default in the future. So now, whenever you're running it, we're also getting that save as well as in that time period. And I think that's super important. Now. Even though it's not turned on by default, there's improvements to the crash handling as well. So if I was to uh, take that modification back out again and um, then simulate a crash, so let's go to the task manager and just uh, abnormally end my interface. If I go back in again, even though I made a change, you'll notice it's removed it. So in this case, that extra change that I added in, I had removed and it's now been maintained. So I hope that's useful. Um, any other problems, options you want me to talk about, let me know, give us a shout and I'll look into them. TTFN.